you're basically saying the Fed's almost out of ammunition. I'm saying we don't have as much room as we had before. So uh, prior to the last three easings, the Fed funds rate was a pretty close to what I would expect to be as neutral over the longer run. We were at 2.4%. Since then, when we've reduced the federal funds rate by 75 basis points. Given the level that we were at, that was a substantial amount of easing. So both monetary policy and fiscal policy are accommodative right now. And so I'm not so sure we needed quite so much accommodation at this time. So I am a little bit worried that we have less room than we otherwise would have if we were to have a big negative shock. And I would say it's not just the short end of the market, so the long end of the market. It's been fluctuating between one and a half and two percent. That's a lot lower than what we were experiencing uh, prior to the last recession, which means even quantitative easing will have some limited effect given that that could quite easily get down to zero more quickly than we're expecting. So then what do we do? I think uh, we'll need fiscal policy at that stage, and fiscal policy in a very low interest rate environment, fiscal policy becomes a much more important tool. And in the talk that I just gave, it also highlighted this is a time where we should be thinking about buffers, including uh, buffers for capital ratios for banks, and in general fiscal policy, you'd like to have a little bit more of a buffer, state and local government, you'd want to have enough buffer that they can weather the storm and hopefully not have to cut back if we were to have a recession. Yeah, but you take a look at what's happening in Washington these days, there's no guarantee you're going to get any fiscal policy, so what would happen then? We'd have a longer recession than we would prefer. And can the Fed do anything in that case uh, except you know, cut rates to zero and do QE and then just cross your fingers and hope? Well, first of all, when we ease policy, it takes some time to have an effect. So lower interest rates have an impact over a number of quarters. So we would have some uh, flexibility to lower rates both at the short and long end of the market. That's the primary way that monetary policy works. I'm sure if it looked like we had a severe recession, we'd get creative about other things that we could do. Uh, I would hope that we don't have to do that, though.